Sapphire, you say? Well, if somebody does come to me with a sapphire, alleged sapphire, the first thing I'm gonna be going for is my polariscope because it's quick and if I can find that optic figure, it will help me to know to the left or to the right whether or not it's possible for it to be a sapphire or if the other individual doesn't know what they're talking about. Sapphires are uniaxial, whereas many of the common fakes or simulants for sapphire are not. Two common fakes or simulants would be kyanite or tanzanite, tanzanite largely being marketed as a replacement for sapphire. And even to this day, in comparable sizes, tanzanite is cheaper than sapphire. Comparable sizes and qualities. So when I go to my polariscope, if I find the uniaxial figure, it's possible that it's a sapphire, not a guarantee. Whereas if it is biaxial, we know that it cannot be a sapphire. Being comfortable with the conoscope, this little magnifying glass is so important because it will save you time in the long run. And that's why I put together the polariscope mastery kit, which is available on gemshepherd.com. If you know how to find those optic figures using that kit, once you're comfortable with cabochons, using facet stones is much easier. And if we wanted to go on testing, we could find out if it is kyanite or if it's tanzanite or something else entirely. Because remember, when you're testing gemstones, you're also testing people. 